Hi everyone, I'll show off the finished game and then I'll explain how I got here. So, usually I put these videos out on Wednesday, but today is Friday, so what happened? Uh, three basic things. First of all, the project bound up being way more work than I thought it would be, so you know, I thought I'd have more time to like sort of do it and then make a video about it. Second of all, the game I wound up making, I'm not proud of, I don't think it's good, and so I wasn't exactly excited to show it off. And third of all, maybe the most embarrassing, after I downloaded the game and I was sort of my time was up and I couldn't work on it anymore, I found this beautiful MIT license project that would have saved me most of my development time, because most of my development time was just trying to make the wheel work, and it, it still doesn't work. It's still really wobbly and hard to control. Um, okay. So, what was I trying to do? Well, first of all, let's show off Expect the car to behave. It's got okay. suspension. It doesn't flip over as often, or it, at least it doesn't flip over at all if you don't try to do it. Uh, it can drift. Yeah. So that's what um, that's what it totally could. Have, my project totally could have been based on, and it wasn't. Um, it was based on just. A rigid body with some stuff done to it that didn't work very well. Anyway, what was I trying to make? So this is basically what I was trying to make. Thank you to Pack Attack 04082 for recording this footage. So this is Drive Through Gates. My game basically has this. Um, you'll see it at the end with these gates when you go through and turn red. I was trying to get that working, I couldn't figure it out, so my game just has a check mark instead. Which I think works well enough. You can see that there's um, there's drifting and there's mushrooms, both of which make you go faster. So yeah, red. It, it was black and they went through it, now it's red. My game works basically the same way, but with a check mark. And you can see that there's drifting and there's like mushrooms which make you go faster. I didn't put either of those in my game. Um, I don't know if I, I would have, even if I had all the time I needed. I was just trying to make a pretty basic you know, mini game racing game, but basically that I already have in my game. Um, obviously mine's worse, but it's there, you know. Yeah. Then I have uh, basically this in my game as well. Mine are like you're supposed to. The sort of the lore is you're picking up bottles, so it's you're picking up trash, so it's bottles and not coins. But you know, basically this, you know. And then, yeah, I, I just, I don't think I would have put a rank system in either. The rank system in this game, they don't really explain it even. So, how you've been ranked at, like, low or high rank or whatever, they don't tell you, which is kind of frustrating. Um, I think that for my game, I was happy to just, like, either you beat it or you didn't, and that show up, right? As you can see here, the item boxes have mushrooms in them. Mushrooms make you go faster. So you collect an item box, it gives you a mushroom, and the mushroom makes you go faster. You collect the next item box, and you sort of do this in a row. That just feels pretty good to do if you get to do it right. Yeah, so. And that's almost identical to collect the coins, but. Uh, yeah, you get you an item ball. This, this minigame sucks if you've ever played it. Um, I'll show you later. In my original plan, I wanted to have something like this, but I think I wanted to have something more along the lines of, like, shooting shells at targets, rather than, like, your your cart becomes invulnerable and you run into stuff. Yeah, and so, right, we're already repeating the, the drive through gates in the game. So, you can see here, we're gonna skip past that. You've got this minigame, which is just drive backwards. This one didn't seem like it was the most interesting to me. Um, this 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 level is fun, but I don't know, it just didn't seem like something I was really invested in making sure that that got into my game, so I probably wouldn't have put that in. There we go, finish that. And then we can skip another coin collecting minigame. Okay, 
So, this one's new. So, we've already seen Mario do this, basically. When you get a drift boost, that number in the corner goes up. You want to do four of them and do the lap. So, yeah, that's pretty much what that's all about. You have to finish the lap, but the rest of it's not that interesting. And then this one is sort of a last major type of game, which is boss fights. And you can see that this guy is kind of a pushover, or, you know, Yoshi's going to kill him in about 10 seconds. Yeah, so... Um, and I, I don't think that I was ever interested in putting boss fights in my game. I, I really haven't messed with AI or anything like that yet, so... Basically, the, the five levels I wanted to make, we'll get into those in just a sec. But, yeah, so that's, that's what, that was my inspiration. That was basically what I was trying to make. And I didn't end up being able to make it, but, yeah, so it goes. This is actually a mock-up I made after I was done with the game. So, you know, I gave myself a week. After the week was done, I stopped touching it. If I had done more planning, and if I had, because this is probably the biggest game I've attempted this series. If I'd done more planning, if I'd done more mock-ups... If I'd done more research, this is what I probably would have been able to make, or at least what I wanted to make. So basically, five races, and then there's a logo in the middle, so you get to choose which ones, and then something happens, and you get a star or whatever, when you've beaten them. That's, that's not a very good star, but whatever. So yeah, Queen of Hearts. Okay. So Queen of Hearts, um, the idea there was... I have this fascination with just like really hard tracks, so... I wanted to make a car. A, I wanted to make some a uh, track that was basically like you have this playing card, right? But someone has like cut it up in such a way that you get this really hard track. That's just sort of. You know, I'm not trying this very well, but like very very vertical and very difficult to navigate, and so you just want to go from here all the way down to here survive. It's not timing you, it's not doing anything like that, it's just like, here's a really difficult track, if you can get to the end of it without falling off, you win. Um, to your schoolyard, pick up the trash, so that wound up being in the final game, which I'll, which I've already shown off. Um, so trash in this case was the bottles, right? Autos, discount obstacles, that's also in the final game, so we've basically seen that already. Targetopia, um, destroy the targets, so the easiest way to do this is just to have sort of a gun that basically you have a you have a gun that it just shoots a recast and then whatever it hits sort of immediately explodes. Um, in Mario Kart instead you have like a projectile so you have like a ball or whatever and that goes and it goes at a certain speed so you shoot this and then when it hits something that's that's when it works. And, you know, I would have done one of those. And then Simple Speedway is just, you know, there's a... <laughs> I, I, I give you a set time. If you beat that time, you win. Right? So, even at the scope I wanted to do, even even with all the complexity, this game is not... It's, it's really not that big or complicated, comparatively. Uh, but, you know, I got distracted trying to make the tire work when I could have just found the thing I needed to find and use that. So I guess that's, that's sort of my lesson here. Um, let's see, what am I missing here? Yeah, so... Conclusions, basically. I think this game, despite all of the things that are obviously wrong with it, did two things right. First of all, from just looking at the game without playing it, because, you know, playing it sucks. From just looking at the game, it doesn't look good or finished, but it looks like something that will be, that will look good when it is finished, if that makes sense. Um, right, it, it, everything has textures or colors, all of the, right, the, the environment is designed in a specific way that makes sense, it doesn't look like it's just cubes placed in the middle of the air for no reason. Um, and because I made so many mistakes, assuming I learned from both of them, which I'm going to try to, um, 
you know, I because I made a bunch of mistakes, those are all mistakes I'm learning from, so therefore, my next game will be better because I'm learning from those mistakes. So, what are the mistakes I made? Well, I didn't plan enough, I didn't research enough, I, like, I had an idea in my head, but I didn't write it down, I didn't mock it up, and I didn't try to, like, you know, I was stuck on one part, and I, what I should have done is just, like, I can't do this part right now, I'm gonna do some other part, you know, I'm gonna make the menu, I'm gonna make, you know, I'm gonna make a tire sound or whatever. I was, I was very laser focused on the one thing I thought I needed to do, <laughs> and that wound up being a mistake. And, I guess, final thoughts are just, despite how difficult it has been, especially this week, I'm having fun, I'm learning a lot, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep doing this for a little while, probably months, and then I'll come back and I'll, you know, I'll <laughs> take what I've learned during the process and start over and make all of these games again. So, this, this design right here is what I'm gonna start with as sort of my basis for when I make this game again. And when I make this game again, hopefully I will able to do all the things I wanted to do. I'll be back next week with what I'm calling Breakout and Pong. So there's two Breakout Paddles, or there's two, well, Breakout and Pong are the same kind of paddle, basically. There's two paddles. There's a Breakout in the middle, so there's like a bunch of bricks or whatever. It's some shape, I don't know. And it's, it's sort of a cooperative slash competitive game, so if you get your ball into the other person's score this is like sort of score zone then you get points but you get more points if that ball hit part of the breakout first so if i get if i hit a if i hit a thing and i get 100 points that 100 points is start, stored on the ball and then whoever hits it into the other person's goal they get that many points and so you're what you're trying to do is you're trying to break the breakout as much as you can and you're trying to avoid having the ball land in your zone because then you then your opponent gets points right so basically, the incentives for both players are to keep the game going as long as possible and to destroy all the bricks. And so if each player optimizes you know, toward what they want to do, you will have a game where no one scores any points and the entire breakout is destroyed. And that's kind of the goal. I want to have a, a game where you can, you can win, right? But the, the final, the, the old... The optimal state of the game is that no one wins because collectively you have beaten the game without making any mistakes. Um, and I think a lot of a lot of games, a lot of party games are like, this is a like fun casual experience, but someone is going to win. Someone's going to be at the top of this leaderboard, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, even if you're just trying to relax and hang out with your friends, play a game or whatever, there's there's this sort of pressure to play in a certain way so you can get to the top of a leaderboard, and I don't always enjoy that. So, for this game, if you play perfectly, you will score zero points, and your opponent will score zero points, because you have collectively worked together to break all the blocks in the middle of the arena, and, you know, also obviously protect your own scores. Alright, and, um, I'll see you next week. Hopefully this is this works better than the last game. I already started work on it. Um, it's it should be a lot simpler. I wanted to take a little bit of a break after last week, but you know you never know with game development. All right, see you soon.